about it or listen. And that's what we're doing here. We leverage. We have an app. If you haven't downloaded the app and you have an iOS device, go to the App Store with your iPhone. If you have an iPad, you have to search on the iPad uh, iPad uh, apps only. Uh, so if you're listening to this on Twitter or Facebook, you can also do this through the iOS app. And it's, again, just the thought of leveraging uh, technology to share your creativity. What's creativity without sharing it with others? So listening to you and what you're doing as far as uh, first you were doing it to, to, to compose music. Now you're using it with your cross stitch. Uh, and tell them a little bit about about how you, what are you doing with the cross stitch on the iPad? How does how does the iPad help you in your cross stitching? Um, well, I mean, this. I mean, it, uh, no, I don't know. What are you doing? You How do you use those PDFs? What are the PDFs used for? Well, it has the patterns, and when they're, you know, when they're, um, I guess, entered in a certain way, I don't know, because I have also PDFs that, are, like I said, I took pictures and converted to PDF, and they, right. don't, re they don't read the same way, like with the symbols on... The symbols on here read as text, and in each of the cell, I use it to mark off the patterns. But I've only ever done it successfully. I mean, in this one pattern so far. Other that's ones cool. Because that's something you would have done on paper before. Storage. That's something yeah, you would. Yeah, I would still print out. I, I said, you know, I was printing out the PDF. And highlighting it with physical highlighters. Right. And, um... Now you can do that all on your tablet. Yeah, and it's not about can doing. It improves, you know, the the reason for using technology is, oh, I, because I can... It's not That's about what just originally it being would. able to do it. It's just, yeah, just to be like, able to yeah, improve I think it. about in the days when I had a Palm Pilot and I could do half the stuff that I'm doing on my iPhone still. You know? Right. Nobody did it. Because you didn't want to. Is, Why? Is because it didn't either make enough sense that I'm saying was like, okay. The reason why I was looking for an alternative is because first of all when you're working with a working copy and you're working with it and you're highlighting it on something the paper deteriorates very rapidly right. you get creases you get tears you get smears especially something this is printed out you know what I'm saying anybody who works with paper like you know so the point is, is when I'm reading it on the PDF version on the thing one of the problems that I was having, see, honestly, this is, doesn't have anything to do with the creative process. This is like but I think it does, though. Let me, tell you, let, let me tell you how it does. Let me help you. And then you're going to, and this is not something I've created, but it's funny because I was listening to people from Apple talk about this. Technology is supposed to address or solve a problem. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, it's not, well, hey, I can do this I on paper, but I can also so do I, this on. Well, I can yeah. do this. People so are I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Unless it solves a problem. Right, it makes it, yeah. yeah and the problem that you had was the paper. Yeah, and what, the paper, um, and for example, once you highlight on a physical paper, you can't see what the symbol is. Right. And on these very complicated large charts that are pages and pages and just filled with symbols, you know, um, and especially because... I would utilize on my other, and this is on a smaller, less complicated project. I would utilize different colors of highlight. Signifying something different, like a yellow would mean a missed stitch that right. I missed, and then I need to go back and pick it up. You know, so, um, and with these symbols, they're very, very teeny tiny, so they're, I was putting the, the page under a magnifying glass. Right. You know, um, so the specific problems that, that were addressed that 
have gotten easy enough to let somehow let go of the paper, you know. Right. You know I'm saying I still have the paper copies printed out of the one that I was working off that I keep because I think I'm going to need it just in case. Right. You know, or going to want to, but I'm saying the problem is, is the paper, I don't know. No, no, so, I totally get it, but see, and that leads me to what I was thinking before. So now I can highlight, it reads these symbols as individual cells, and so I can highlight one by one as I complete these things. I can do it in different colors. I can layer it. I can zoom in or out. And it's not affecting the actual original PDF. You know, it's just in the program. Right. So to jump right in with you, the term I was looking for before is that a lot of the times the technologies, the technology pieces that people buy, the hardware, are vanity items. It's something that they, and a vanity item I always understood to mean a device that you have just for the sake of it doing it. And I think that you identify what a vanity item is. A vanity item is something that you can do something on. Something that you already do and you can do it on, so, but when it solves a problem, it's no longer a vanity item. It becomes technology mm-hmm. because technology is applied science. Science is, 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 is mm-hmm. the understanding of the, how the world works and being able, and part of it is l- being able to leverage it and that's when it becomes technology. Technology. So being able to use the technology that's housed in the software to address a problem, so that you can no, improve uh, yeah, your I mean, workflow. No, yeah. The point is, is, is I couldn't. In order to comprehend, like I said, even the how to accomplish this, right? You know, because, like I'm saying, this is a tapestry like result. It's right. Gonna be, it's not going to be, it's, when it's, I'm saying cross stitch, it's not like these cute little X's or bears or something. It's like the, the, this particular project. Right. And it's still just a mini. Right. Like, you know, the same thing when I was looking at the fabric and I couldn't under, I couldn't see the holes as a, a thing. And it was very, very difficult to see. Um, and the linen is even more difficult to see. Right. That I have that other project that I started on linen. Um, and it's it's 32 count. But I'm saying it's like... Anyway. Right. So, so, so the so, point so, is technology... Right. Does not... We got technology... We got we to gotta wrap it around and think of it before you say it. What I'm going to say is... The way that you leverage technology through your creativity, creativity is just an idea. You know, the medium that you choose changes, whether it's linen, cross-stitching, painting, easel, uh, music. The, the, the medium changes. Creativity is an idea. Creativity is the, is, is the process of using those ideas and putting them together. You can leverage the technology to put them together. That's what you just explained to me. You, you explained to me a workflow, whether it's it's that physical linen, that device working in conjunction to be able to make the result, whatever the result is. So creativity is real. It's just in the head because people sit down and think about sh all day. They think of hey, wouldn't it be nice? And it may not go anywhere. But the idea, just like we were talking about before, about starting. And finishing things, the idea that hey, I'm going to take these ideas, I'm going to p- apply these ideas in some sort of way. Again, technology, and I'm going to create something that has a an end result, something that somebody could could either look at or experience. That's the process that we're talking about. We're not just hey, people. Could, even us sitting down here recording this conversation, we could have had this conversation unrecorded. It would have came and it would have went. You and I may have remembered it in our brains because that's that's the technology that God has created. But no one else would have been able. We could say, "Hey, we were having a great conversation about," but the process of leveraging this iPad, Spreaker, which is the the uh, program, y'all check it out. Create your own TV show. Piece of Spreaker, they don't they don't endorse this, but the idea of leveraging this piece of hardware with this software. With the idea, with the act of recording it, that's technology 
and creativity in pursuit of God right there in motion. It's 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 a workflow, right? And it's these different things coming together and being used at the same time. It's it's as fundamental, I would say, as something like the wheel or as the fulcrum. Somebody saying, Hey, I was gonna I'm gonna use this stick and wedge it under underneath something else to lift something else. It's the same idea. And Charles Babbage is the one who came up with the idea of a computer. One device that, if given the right instructions, could bring about multiple results, could do different jobs. If you were able to give it the right instruction, it, it could do multiple things. It was, you know, back in the day, a, a stereo was just as, you had a stereo, you had a radio, you had a, you had a TV, you know, but the, the idea that these technologies, which are not just vanity pieces, could allow you to do multiple things. You just showed me a, a little bit earlier. You were, she had up the program, and now iOS allows you to, 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 to do more than one thing on the screen. So she had brought up the movie and the TV app on the side of the same PDF program that she uses with across this. So that's what it's about. And I think now is a good time, you know, as we have, we got about four minutes left in the show. The beginning of the year is a great time to use. Do it. A lot of us have these vanity devices. You know, hey, most of a lot of us may just have iPhones or cell phones, whatever kind of phone smartphones because everybody else has them. How could you create something new? How could you speak to other people? How could you present your creativity? It could be a business. It could be a widget that you produce. It could just be something that you hang on your wall, which is awesome too. How could you leverage technology with your creativity? Right now, the people who, people, somebody in, the, in another part of the world tripped me out. I was looking at my, uh, analytics one day and somebody in a different country i think it was germany or someplace else had listened to the sh to the show hey who, i've never been to germany who knows if i'll ever physically be to germany but i've been to germany because somebody else pressed play on the link and was able to hear my voice as i sit here in on the east coast and listen to me in a totally different country that's creativity and anything just as we are all different as snowflakes are all different we all have our own ideas, and that's all God. Think about it. God is the source of all information and inspiration, and we all come from him. We're all different, so think about his capacity, and that we can all be inspired in our own way to do our own thing and to be able to, you know. And, and I think that creatives would love to get the feeling out of you that they got when they experienced someone else's creativity. Just think about it. Someone that says, says, hey, man, I'm going to be a singer. At one point, they listened to a singer that made them feel some type of way, and they said, hey, I like to do that. I like to make other people feel the way I felt when I heard that song. Or you. You must have seen, uh, at some point, uh, Cross Stitch done it and say, hey, I would like to do a finish like someone else. Or, hey, I've heard somebody rhyme. Or I've heard, I, I want to do that just in the same way that they did. So everybody... What inspires me about creativity can be created. And we all have technology that's surrounding us that we can leverage in our creativity to be able to do something else and inspire someone. And whether you're agnostic, whether you find yourself to be unreligious, whether you're spiritual, whether you're theological, all of that is the pursuit of God. Because God is the original creator and he has given us this world to live in and this consciousness to use in the pursuit of creativity as we leverage technology so hey love the conversation smirk and smirk it's open the show's always infinitely better when you're a part of it so i'm glad that you uh you lit us and lit us uh and jumped in with us today um tune in if you haven't liked it like it press the like button if you turn it in the latter end i hope you enjoyed your your uh first day of the year day one great day to get inspired to do something new I'm a little hungry. I'm about to go forage and see what I can get now in the short term. See what else I can we can uh, prepare for dinner. Uh, I'm gonna go spend some time with the kids and do kind of a couple other things that I have planned today. Uh, thank you, God, for this opportunity to say thank you. We appreciate our, your power and your ability just to be, just to be conscious of who we are, 
and to pursue you in the many ways.